It's well past apple picking season, but at Fireside Orchard just outside of Northfield, Todd Harvey is still hard at work sorting out the fall harvest. Um, we have great apples. <laughs> you know, Minnesota is a great apple state. It doesn't rank very high in terms of volume, but we have a very unique industry here. Good local apples that were developed here and live in this climate, grow in this climate, and, and we have such a variety to choose from here. You know, and you really can't find them in too many places other than here in Minnesota. So these are little seedling trees. Dr. Um, Jim Luby is a professor of horticultural science at the University of Minnesota. Um, He's worked on developing new varieties of apples for the past 30 years. Well, our, our, our main effort, of course, is we've got to get varieties that are adapted to our climate. Um, and that, that means getting through a cold Minnesota winter. And in addition to that, we also have quite a focus on breeding for disease resistance, too. But everybody likes a good, crunchy, juicy apple. And so texture is really what we focus on first for quality. It's almost a, a coincidence that we have this research strength here, and it's, good, and it's imperative that we, we find ways to continue to support this. You know, we wouldn't have the industry in the state without that program. You know, 98% um, of what I sell was developed by the university over the past 100 years. I think it gets to the whole broader issue of how does any society support its economy? You know, and there's a whole bunch of different things involved with that. Private initiative development, growth creation versus public uh, responsibility. There's a lot of growth potential, but, there's a, the, but then there's also going to be an awful lot of more research and, and development and breeding that will have to go into, into our apple industry. You know, there's a lot of different angles to it, and it all comes together on, a, on an apple orchard in some ways.